Hello there, Justin with Effective Remote Work here today, and we're going to build off of the skills and the system that we started building in the previous video about using Git to sync your Obsidian Vault. And what we're going to take a look at today is how you can use Git on iOS and iPad OS, combined with drafts and Siri shortcuts to do some quick and easy capture into your daily notes inside of Obsidian. First now to talk about the applications that we're using. You can see I have drafts, working copy, and shortcuts here down in my dock. Drafts is the place where I grab text. It's very easy to just quickly jot down notes or take longer form notes inside of drafts and then send them to other places on your system, whether that's into an email, into a file, into a different application. And in this case, it integrates very nicely with Siri shortcuts, which also integrates nicely with working copy. Working copy is a Git client for iOS. We'll dive into that one first when we do the actual walkthrough of how to set this up. But it's an easy way to interact with Git repositories that you have on GitHub. And then lastly, Siri shortcuts is a way to automate tasks on your iOS devices. Siri Shortcuts is included in iOS, no charge. Drafts, I'm using the free version, but you can pay $20 a year to get upgraded access to different actions and creating your own actions, workspaces, and so on and so forth. For me, I found the free version works just fine for what I'm using it for. I used to use the paid version, but I realized I just wasn't using the paid features all that much. And then working copy, you can clone a repository and get access to the contents for free using a working copy, but you do need to use the paid version to push to a remote repository like one hosted on GitHub. So for today's example, the only application that you would need to pay for to actually get this to work is working copy. So let's start by taking a look at working copy. As you can see, this is generally the view that you have when you get into working copy, you have your repositories on the left hand side here. Or if you're on an iPhone, you'll just see the repository list. We'll hit the plus button and hit clone a repository. Now you may need to sign into GitHub in this process here. I've already done that. And so you can see the list of applications that I have, but it's fairly easy. You just sign in with your GitHub credentials and then you'll be able to see your repositories listed. Now we have the vaults repository, which is my normal vault that I use. And then I have the my vaults repository, which we created in that previous video. Just for kicks, we'll try cloning this one to the iOS device. You can see I've got uh, auto populated values here. It's going to clone it from this address and we'll hit clone. And there it is. So you can see from the last video that we have the sync script and my vault 12 with all of the files in here. And that's really all you have to do inside of working copy. The rest of the setup happens inside of Siri shortcuts. And let me show you a couple of different shortcuts that I have developed that help me capture into my daily notes inside of Obsidian. So we'll head on over to shortcuts. And you can see I have a folder created here with these two shortcuts. There are append to today's note and append to a previous day's note. Now, a quick note on why I'm using Git over something like iCloud Drive. With Siri shortcuts, you cannot use the Files app integrations to create new files. You can only append to existing files. It's a limitation. As a result, I couldn't continue using iCloud Drive for my file syncing to use Obsidian on a mobile device. OneWriter, an application on iOS, handles working with Obsidian files fairly well but it doesn't work with iCloud Drive all that well. It primarily is designed to integrate with Dropbox. Now, if you're a Dropbox user, you could create similar shortcuts to this using the Dropbox APIs that connect in Siri shortcuts because those do allow the type of file creation and appending that you need to get this to work. But for my case, I decided to move over to Git so specifically that I could create and append to these files right from drafts on my phone. So let's take a look at the shortcuts now. I'll click on this couple dots here so you can see how this looks. And I have just a couple of short steps here for this append to today's note. This is a share sheet shortcut. So what this does is it accepts input when you share it via the share sheet. 
If I look in here, you can see that I have this set to show and share sheet, which then opens this option here at the top, which says accept. And then you can select all sorts of different kinds of information that you can accept. We're just accepting text because we're coming from drafts. That's all that draft sends. The first step in the action is to pull from the vaults remote. So this is my vault repository. You can see if I click here that you can see all the different repositories that I have cloned inside of working copy. This is the one that I use on a day to day basis and polling. What this does is it makes sure the repository is up to date locally before you make any changes to it. If you don't pull it locally first, you're going to have some issues when you try to push up changes later because it's going to say, hey, things are out of sync. You got to get that resolved. Next, I'm taking the shortcut input and I'm literally just adding a couple line breaks before and after the text. If you don't do that, it'll just append it right to the end of the text. So if you want a couple line breaks in there in between the things that you're appending to your today's note, then add those in there. Next, I am using a working copy action to create a file. I'm writing text to the sweep daily notes and then current date dot MD in vaults. So this is going to create or append to this file here, the sweep daily notes current date. And then it will create that file and get it ready to commit inside of working copy. Something to note here is that current date, I have changed the date format to be year, 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 dash month, month, dash day, day. That's the same format that Obsidian uses by default for its daily notes. So to do that in here, you'll have to click on date format and choose custom and then enter that in manually. Obviously, I'm not going to change that right now, but that is how you get that set up. Then the next step in the shortcut is to commit with a commit message here. I've just said daily update. You can do something more verbose if you like. And then lastly, you push the vault to remote. When you commit, it just creates the commit locally in working copy. It does not sync it up to GitHub. But when you push it, it'll push all of those changes that you've made to your files and folders inside of your Obsidian vault to the GitHub repository that you've created. Next, let's take a look at the append to a previous day's note shortcut. Essentially, this one is the same. The only difference here is that I'm asking for text with what date. There are ways you can grab the first line of a note, and there's probably other ways you can use the current date when sending a file over from drafts using a custom action script. But because I'm not paying for drafts, I decided to use this direction. So what I do is when I'm sharing a note to this Siri shortcut from drafts, I'm just taking a note of what date it was created and I'm manually typing it in. It's not as fancy as it could be, but it works well for me because I'm not creating a vast amount of notes that I need to append to previous days. I simply have a few that every once in a while get built up and then I have to pop them into that note. So then down here, it's the same as the other shortcut, except the only change is that instead of having current date here, we use this provided input from this uh, scripting step up here. That's essentially it for the series shortcuts. We'll head back to the home screen and I'll show you how this works. So if I go into drafts, you see I have a brand new note here and I'll say, Hello, I'm sending this to Obsidian from drafts on my iPad using Git. We'll head over to the drafts uh, button over here, which brings up the share actions. I'll go to my input group because it just has the share icon or the share action here because that's all I'm using inside of drafts right now to get this into Obsidian. And I'll hit share. And then I will go down here to my append to today's note shortcut. Click on that. And then it'll run in the background. It's polling. Okay, it wrote to the file. Committed it. And then pushed the changes to the master. So we'll head back over to working copy into my vault, the sweep, daily notes, 
all the way down to the bottom, we should have a new file called 0922. And you can see the text that we have here. Now, if you wanted to edit this directly inside of Working Copy, you can as well. Working Copy does very well with Markdown files. I personally like jumping into drafts and grabbing text that way, simply because it's really, really easy to do so. You hit the drafts button, you start typing. Or if you're on iOS 14, you can add a drafts widget to your home screen to make it really easy to just dictate or type text right into drafts from clicking one single button. This at the core is the reason why I switched from using iCloud Drive to Git for syncing my Obsidian Vault. It's so much more flexible at this time than using uh, iCloud Drive to sync my vaults and add to it from a mobile device. And frankly, that's where I'm capturing a lot of thoughts that I want to add to my daily notes. I'm capturing them in drafts. I'm capturing them when I'm out and about. I'm capturing them on my iPad when I'm sitting on the couch. And so I wanted an easy and quick way to get them added into my Obsidian Vault where I didn't have to think about it. And using the combination of drafts, working copy, and Siri shortcuts has been the way that has worked well for me so far. Well, I hope you found this video helpful today. If you did, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, comment below and let me know what you found helpful out of this video, what you maybe weren't clear on, or if there's any other videos that you would like to see us make here at Effective Remote Work. Again, my name is Justin. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video.